Let's learn about Power Apps by using an existing project file. Here, the hard part's already been done for us. This is an app that currently has the capability to help teachers with reading fluency. A reading passage has been pasted into this, uh, this rich text box. What we will want to do is we're going to split up each one of those words inside the reading passage so that a teacher can interact with it. They could select the word to show that a student has missed a word as an error. And then we want to be able to give a little bit more information about each of the errors. How did a student pronounce it? What kind of error was it? So when each of those words is split up, it goes into this gallery where the words are, even though it's a gallery and typically galleries have uh, each of the items inside the gallery evenly spaced out, uh, there's a lot of complicated things going on inside that allows us to uh, manually detect how the words are spaced out inside the passage. We won't need to go into detail about that. All we need to know is the hard work's already been done for us. We're just going to work on learning how to design an app. So this button does the heavy lifting where it uh, breaks up each of the words. It gives each of those words an ID number. So the first word is the, its ID number is one. The second word is youngest, its ID number is two. Each of the words also has a length associated with it. The word the is three letters long. The word young, Y-O-U-N-G-E-S-T, is eight letters long. We are calculating roughly the length of the word. And this works because the font that is used inside the gallery is a fixed width font, meaning every single letter, capital, lowercase, um, letters like M, which are typically longer, are all the same uh, width. So it's a fixed width uh, font. Finally, this slider at the bottom is used to determine what's the length of an overall line and what's the longest line so that it could determine the position of some of the things in here. Again, we won't need to go into details about that too much. And finally up here, we have uh, credit being given to the artist of an icon that we'll be using as part of this project.